So walk us through the variable reward model, and uh, you know, then I have some curveballs for sure. you. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, most models of um, habit formation advise some kind of reward, but yeah. I would argue that the for products, and that's what the hook model is really for. It's not for personal habits. Yeah. It's for product habits. You've got to have a variable reward. What is a variable reward? A variable reward is what's called an inter intermittent reinforcement. And so this was studied back in the 1950s by B.F. Skinner. And Skinner found that uh, when he gave a food pellet, the reward to his pigeons, who were hungry, by the way, the, yeah. the hunger was the internal trigger. If the, yeah. pigeons, if the pigeons weren't hungry, they wouldn't ask for the reward. But if the pigeon was hungry, they would peck at a disc and yes. receive a little food pellet. Yes. By the way, if our customers aren't hungry, right? If we don't identify an internal trigger in our customers, we also can't make them do what we want. This yes. isn't mind control, right? Uh, but if the user has that itch, if they have this, this psychological need, as we talked about a lot, then you can propose a variable reward where what Skinner found with these pigeons, that if they were hungry, they would peck at the disc and get a reward if there was variability there. So if sometimes a pigeon would peck at the disc, nothing would come out. The next time they pe pecked at the disc, they would receive a reward the rate of response, the number of times a pigeon pecked at the disc increased when the reward is given on a variable schedule of reinforcement. So we see variable rewards in all sorts of habit forming products, online, offline, you see them everywhere. Uh, sports, right? Why do we like watching sports on TV? Well, it's variability, right? Where's the ball or puck gonna go? There's uncertainty there. News, the first three letters of news, N-E-W, what's new, what's different? Nobody wants yesterday's news, they wanna know what they don't know, the surprise. Yeah. Uh, movies, books, uh, romance, all these things depend upon variability to keep us engaged. So when we design habit forming products, uh, especially in, fin in fintech, it's actually easy <laughs> because the key variable reward in almost all fintech products is your bank account, right? The stock market. If you think about day trading, day trading is a wonderful way to lose money. Most people should not be day trading. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. But many people do. Why? Because it's a slot machine, right? It's gambling. And it's gambling because of variability. That's why we like it. Yeah. And so uh, we, we, it's, not, it's not that variable rewards are good or bad. It's a tool like a hammer that can be used constructively. Well, good or bad. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So when we design a habit-forming product, we need to know that, that that variable reward is the engine, so to speak, of that hook model. And so we need to understand that uh, it needs to be designed based on these three types of variable rewards. We have rewards of the tribe, rewards of the hunt, and rewards of the self. And you need at least one of those three. The best habit-forming products actually have all three. That's not a requirement, but you need to have at least one of those three.